Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to build the NewTek ODS Overdrive Pedal Kit. We start by mounting the LED holder on the upper case on the back side of the upper case using the washer and the nut. Next, it's time to install the main circuit board onto the upper case. Run the battery snap wires under the main board making sure that the knot doesn't loosen. Next, get a washer and a nut for the two jacks. Attach the washers onto the jack and temporarily tighten the nuts. Make sure that the positioning tab on the volume control fits perfectly into the notch on the upper case. Make sure that you don't tighten too hard as that may damage the threading. Attach washers onto the four pots and tighten the nuts to affix them to the case. After you've finished tightening the nuts on all four pots, Retighten the jack nuts that you temporarily tightened and snug them to their final position. Now we're going to attach a foot switch unit. First, tighten a nut and attach an internal tooth lock washer onto the foot switch. Next, mount the switch unit on the upper case so that the LED that we mounted at first fits right into the LED holder. After that, tighten the foot switch unit using the washer and nuts. Peel off the release paper from one side of the cushion and attach it to the back side of the new tube circuit board. Then. Connect the new tube circuit board and the main circuit board with a wire harness. Peel off the release paper from the other side of the cushion and attach it to the main circuit board. Next, connect the harness of the foot switch to the main circuit board as well. Now it's time to make space for the battery. Install the battery cushion into the battery space. Then, connect the battery and fit it into the battery space. Use a 9 volt alkaline battery for this effect pedal. Now we want to attach the white cushion to the inside of the bottom of the case. We want to put this where the new tube is because it's designed to protect the new tube from shock. Next, take the bottom case cover and attach it to the rest of the pedal with four silver screws, making sure not to pinch the wire harness or any other components between the bottom of the case and the rest of the case. Now, you want to add some rubber feet to our new tech. Take four rubber feet, peel them from the sheet, and install them onto the bottom of the case, taking care not to cover up the screws, and also attach the label. Now get the four knob caps. It might help to adjust the pots so that all four are facing the same way. Line up the knob caps with the flat side of the shaft of each pot, and tighten the screw on the side of the knob cap with a screwdriver. And we're done building. Plug a quarter inch cable into the input jack and press the foot switch. The LED should turn on. You can adjust the ODS circuit board manually. It comes pre-adjusted from the factory, but you can further adjust if you want. In order to do so, turn the tube gain knob down to minimum and set all the knobs to the center position. Adjust the trim pot on the main circuit board to the desired volume. If you want to use ODS-1 as a full range booster, turn the wide switch to on. When you use the ODS along with guitar amp distortion, turn the wide switch off for more cutting sound and play around with the settings that you'd like. Thanks so much for watching.